Hello, fellow trumpeters and musicians. My name is Josh Rzepka, and today is Mute Monday. If you're new around here, Mute Monday is a weekly series where I discuss and demonstrate different trumpet mutes. And today I am very excited to be bringing to you four different mutes, which represent nearly a hundred years of mute production. The very first mute that I will be sharing with you is one of the rarest mutes that I have. This is the Shastok Mega Mute. And check this out, very interesting mute. It's a very large cone, and look inside. There's actually another cone stuck inside of that, and it is suspended by six corks. So I've got right here an example of this mute, which is in two pieces, which I can share with you. So this right here is the outer cone. Check that out. If you look inside, you can see that there are cork marks, and there are six of them where another smaller cone goes inside. And basically what this mute is, is this large projection cone with a straight mute stuck inside, and it gives you a very interesting sound. I would really liken the sound to this as if you took a straight mute and a bucket mute and you blended it together, that's what it's like. You'll hear it when I demonstrate it, but it's got the characteristic of a straight mute, but then the mellowness and a projection of a bucket mute. Very, very interesting. For the newer mutes, I am very excited to be bringing to you three incredible straight mutes from Dennis Wick. Now, I am a Dennis Wick artist, and that is because their mutes and their mouthpieces are incredible, and I love playing on them. And I think that this is one of the most copied straight mutes that is on the market. Um, certainly, as far as aluminum straight mutes are concerned and metal straight mutes are concerned, in 1968, Dennis Wick came out with this design and so many companies have modeled their straight mutes off of this design. And it's for good reason. This mute plays great. The response and the sound and the intonation you will hear is excellent. So it's no surprise that this is one of the most popular straight mutes on the market. Now, here I have the aluminum version. There is also a copper bottom version. To round it out, they have a brass version. And the bottoms of each of these mutes, you can see the different metals and the name is stamped into it. The craftsmanship in these mutes is outstanding. These are all handmade. Every single Dennis Wick mute is hand spun on a lathe. There's no machines spitting out these pieces. These are handmade. And the craftsmanship and the consistency is just second to none. So I am very excited to be sharing with you all three of these mutes. I think you will find it very interesting to hear all three of these mutes back to back because the difference in sound from the aluminum to the copper to the brass is subtle, but it's very noticeable. The projection, the articulation, the tonal color, it all changes with each mute. So because of that, I've gone the extra step today and I have recorded a trumpet excerpt as a section. So there are three parts, first, second, and third, all with the same mute. So I will play the same excerpt three times. The excerpt that I'm playing is from Don Quixote. And for anyone who is wondering, this is at rehearsal mark number three. I'm also going to be playing all of my standard examples back to back so you can really get a great sense of how these mutes sound throughout the different registers back to back. Without any further introduction, the Shastok Mega Mute and the three Dennis Wick straight mutes.
So you've just heard all three of those incredible Dennis Wick straight mutes, as well as this really cool Shastock Mega Mute. I was just talking to my good friend Roger Ingram, asking him if he knew when this was made. And he was fairly certain that this was made in the mid 1920s. Apparently around that time, there was a lot of competition from all of the speakeasies and from all the clubs. They all had bands and the band leaders were all going to these mutant manufacturers trying to get new and unusual sounds that something that would set them apart from all of their peers. So there was an abundance of really unique mutes and this is one of them. They didn't make it for that long and that's why it is really rare and there aren't that many left. As far as the Dennis Wick straight mutes are concerned, I had a lot of fun dusting off my C trumpet, which I haven't played in years, and working up that excerpt to be able to play for all of you. I thought it was really very interesting to compare as a section the difference between the aluminum, copper, and brass mute. Personally, for me, it's kind of a toss up between the copper and the brass. I love the sound on both of these. The tonal color on this brass one is just a little more full and it kind of projects a little bit differently than this copper one, but this copper one sounds incredible in a section. Uh, so you can't go wrong with either one of these. And of course, the classic aluminum version, you can never go wrong with either. So big hats off to Dennis Wick. There's a reason why these mutes are so popular. They play great, they are super consistent, and they blend very well in a section. Next week, I am very excited to be sharing with you a whole bunch of mutes from the Harman Mute Company. Harman Mutes, of course, we all have one, we're all familiar with them. However, many of you may not realize how many different models there actually are. And I will be sharing a bunch of them with you next week and demonstrating them side by side so you can really hear the difference. Not only do they make that Harman style mute, but they also make straight mutes and cut mutes there will have to be a couple of videos on Harman Mutes, but I will do the introduction next week with some of my favorites, and I will also throw into the mix one or two vintage mutes so that I can share with you a little bit about the history of the company and what makes these mutes so iconic. All right, I'll see you next week.